Richard. Hey, Randy, how you doing this morning? Very good. It's uh, concert season. It's, uh, I hate to say we even have to say season. It is um, the time at which many high school and middle school bands and orchestras are going to what is known as organization contest or whatever it's called in each individual state. I know in Indiana it's called organizational, but, uh, you know, large ensemble contest, for lack of a better term. And, and uh, the contest part is fine. It's an opportunity to go get uh, a rating and in front of a um, judicious group of experienced uh, band educators or orchestra educators and, and get that rating. But I think more importantly, um, it's the time of year where many schools are hosting their own festivals. And um, I know you've been a part of some and, and as well as I have. And we started one, oh gosh, it's probably been 30 years ago now um, at Lawrence Central. And I know Carmel brought groups and uh, many of the Indianapolis area has always brought groups. And it was always my favorite time of year because there wasn't a number or a rating attached. And, and um, it, was, it was just an opportunity to make music and talk about music and talk about the music making process, which is what I know you and I are passionate about. And um, how refreshing to be able to do that. And I know you and I were together a couple of weeks ago at Lawrence Central for their festival. And it was different being on the other side of it, not having, you know, not being the organizer or the um, teacher that had ensembles in it, but being on the adjudication side. So let's let's talk about that today. Yeah, I think it was um, a, a wonderful experience being a, a clinician for that, especially since I had, back when I was teaching at Carmel, I brought my band to that event. And um, uh, I'll, I'll never forget that. I always tell people that the, the times that turned the Carmel program around were moments like that, uh, where we were going and performing, but then would spend a good 45 minutes or whatever with a, a, an amazing clinician who would just basically change our program right there and then, you know, teaching us, uh, especially as younger teachers, how to, how to get the most out of our kids and, and the things that maybe we weren't thinking about. And um, I always left uh, your festival, you know, feeling rejuvenated. I felt like I had a bunch more tricks up my sleeve. And, uh, you know, you always had, had great clinicians there. And uh, so we learned a ton going to that. And then, you know, the thing for most directors to think about, if they're getting ready for uh, a large uh, ensemble evaluation somewhere, uh, what, what better way to get ready for that than to go to some type of festival where you get to do um, a performance and then also get a really solid clinician uh, working with your group. So I, I highly recommend that folks look for that. Uh, and you kind of set a great standard there at Lawrence Central, Randy, with your your festival, because I think it's run probably as well as any anyone I've ever attended. Well, thank you for that. And and it was really interesting this year to, to witness, you know, some groups that had never brought an ensemble before. And yep. You know, what's remarkable is a lot of those ensembles were second ensembles, second or third ensembles. They weren't necessarily their top group because they wanted to provide those opportunities for the younger students, knowing that those younger students eventually are going to be in their top groups. And so I thought that that was, you know, hats off to the directors of those respective schools that decided to do it that way, as opposed to always bringing out their their top group. Um, and, and that's, you know, every bit is good. And and, you know, I, I had an opportunity, and I know you did too, to clinic some of those groups. And, you know, the amount of learning and the, the willingness of those students to get better was, was really, really encouraging coming out of, you know, the past few years that we've had with COVID and everything. It really was. And you could tell that there were some directors who were not used to bringing their groups to something like that, who were pretty nervous on stage. And I, I gave them a lot of props. And, you know, on my recordings, I was like, good for you, you know, for taking this chance um, throwing things out there and seeing seeing what you can learn. I just think that takes uh, a lot of um, gutsiness, I guess, on the part of a director who feels like they still have a long way to go with their program, uh, to put your kids out there in front of people that you know are probably going to tell you some things you need to do better. But more power to those people, you know, Randy, that are, that are willing to do that kind of stuff. That's how we get better. Yep. Vulnerability is key. And there's no greater sense of vulnerability yeah. than taking your kids you know, to a to a festival where you don't maybe don't know the clinicians or you're just not sure how it's going to go and, and just giving them the opportunity to learn. So 
as Richard said, hats off to all of you that do that. If you ever want to consider hosting your own, you, uh, you're absolutely uh, thinking along the right lines as far as trying to do that. And it's not very hard to do. Um, so if you ever want to reach out to us and ask us about how to go about that, it's pretty simple. But the opportunity for them to spend some time with some great clinicians uh, in a collective effort for the day is, is a great learning opportunity for your students and you as an educator. And thanks to those directors that attended that festival and have attended festivals um, all over the country. I know you've got the, the National Concert Festival coming up here in the next couple of days, Richard. I know that's right. always an exciting time. And yep. that's its first time back after, after COVID. So um, I'm sure those groups are going to be excited to get that wealth of information that they're going to get from clinicians as well. So think about it and uh, good luck to all of you as you prepare for your spring organization events. All right, take care everyone. Have a great April. Thank you.